Hi, this is Tim Von Rieden with CGCookie.com, and in this tip tutorial, I'm taking a look at how to create a neon sign effect in Photoshop. I will go through the different layer effect settings, as well as applying this effect to a text or a brush. Okay, let's get started. So in Photoshop, I'm going to create a new document. And I'm just going to make it a normal size canvas for a square. I'm going to press F to full screen it. Okay. So for the background there, I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with a darker color. And I'm doing that because I want the neon sign effect to really pop out and stand out. So I'm going to choose a dark color, but not black, because um, I'm going to be applying a drop shadow to our neon effect. So I want to be able to see that. And since the drop shadow is black, you won't be able to see it on a black background. So on a new layer, I'm going to go ahead and start my neon sign. And it's going to be the CG cookie logo. So to start that off, i got to create the shape of the cookie. So I'm going to grab my circle tool. And I'm going to make this color a bright yellow. And all I did is click and drag to the size that I wanted for my circle. And since it's on a shape layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer above it, put it below it, and then merge it down. And that creates or makes it into just a normal layer that you can edit from there. I'm going to grab my eraser tool, and I am going to block out the bite marks. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and select it. So I'm going to press Command A, and I'm going to move it just a little down. And while that selection is, um, you see the dotted lines that are around it, so while that is happening, if we go to Select, Modify, and Contract, what that'll do is it'll pull in your selection. So if I contract it by, let's say, 30 pixels. If I choose OK, you'll see how my selection moved in 30 pixels. So now if I delete that, and if I unselect it with Command D, you can see how it deleted um, the good portion of it, but now we have a 30 pixel kind of stroke that is going to be the outline of our cookie. So now this is where we're going to actually get the effects of a neon sign onto this shape. So I'm going to go ahead and under my layers menu, I'm going to choose the FX for the effects. So when I open that menu, and you can see all the different things you can affect, and I'm going to turn on my drop shadow first. And to edit each of these different settings, all you do is on the menu to the right, they have different sub menus that you can go ahead then and edit. So like distance is the distance away from the shape that the drop shadow is. So I'm going to put it pretty high as if the blue um, background is kind of like a wall and this cookie is um, standing on it, protruding on it. So we're going to make it a little bigger and we're going to turn, the, for the size, that's pretty much how fuzzy it'll look. So I'm going to make it just around there. And then I'm going to turn on my outer glow. And I'm turning on my outer glow for the overall effect. So if I turn my blend mode to linear light, and instead of this very light yellow, we're going to make it an orange. Choose OK. And then from here, just turn the size up. And then you'll really start to see the effect of that glow. So I'm going to turn that orange just a little more yellow, somewhere right there. OK. And then for the last effect, I'm going to turn on my inner glow. And I'm doing that to make it feel more like a tube, like this is actually like a neon um, sign. So I'm going to turn this to multiply, and I'm going to make it uh, red. So now if I zoom in, you can barely see it, but it's if I turn up my size, you'll see it more, but I'm not going to have it be that large. Just enough where 
There's a little depth to the actual shape. Okay. So now that we have the base of the cookie all set up, I'm going to go ahead and draw in the face. So I'm going to draw or grab my brush tool. I'm going to grab my hard edge brush. I'm going to turn everything off. And now if I lay it down on the layer that has all these effects on it, my brush will have the same effect. So it can be cool if you turn on like shape and other dynamics. You can create some cool effects. And it's um, pressure sensitive, so the harder you press, the harder the glow you'll get. And then the softer you press, you get more of that red faded look. And then if you press hard, you'll get that glow. So that you can create some cool things with that. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and turn those off. Turn my brush size down, and I'm just going to draw in the face. And I'm considering that this is a neon sign, so I'm not going to connect um, the points together. And I'm going to draw on his mouth. Okay, so it's a little simple logo for a um, neon sign. I'm going to make him a little smaller because now I'm going to apply this effect to a font. So if I lay down my text tool, If I just name it concept cookie, make it that um, same yellow that I was using for the sign. And I'm going to grab um, a very rounded typed font so that it kind of works well with the glow and the way that um, a neon sign would normally work. So I'm going to grab Cooper Standard. There you go, so it's very rounded font. And I'm going to turn this layer into a normal layer instead of a font layer. So just like we did before, make a new layer and then merge it down. Now I'm going to grab this layer and then make it fill the canvas. Click enter. And just like we did before, I'm going to select it. Command A, select it all. I'm going to go ahead while this is selected, go to select at the top, modify, and then contract. So if I contract it by about 30 pixels, choose OK, you can see how it's selected the inside of the font just like we did with the cookie. So now when I click delete, you can see how it's, um, how much it deleted. But I feel like it didn't delete enough, so I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And I'm going to go back to contract and I'm going to make it a little larger or a little smaller so that we have um, a thinner line so I'm going to do it by 20 pixels instead so now when I click delete and uh, command D to deselect it that's what I wanted so now that we have our font all set up for the neon sign effect what we do is in the layer that we have the effect down here I'm going to right click it and do copy layer style and then in the layer with the font, I'm going to go ahead and right click it and do paste layer style. So you can see how it affects um, that layer as well. Now if I wanted to affect it just on this layer, I just double click it. And for things like the outer glow, if I'm feeling like it's a little too large, I can go ahead and turn down the size of the glow. Something like that. If I undo that and toggle between the two, you can see the difference it makes. So that's a quick way to create a neon sign in Photoshop. 
and I would recommend then playing with the different brushes that you might have in your thing and just see how the um, the effect works on the brush because you can create some pretty cool effects so even like if I grab my leaf brush some interesting effects you can get with it but overall this is what you can create and I hope you learned something and thanks for watching